What up everybody, it's your girl July from Kickback Couture and today I'm going to be comparing Neptune by Reason Studios and Autotune Pro by Antares. Alright, let's get straight into it. Alright, I brought in a special guest, his name is Ralphie Sway to lay down some vocals with the auto tune so we can a b so we have more than just my vocals all right so we're gonna start off with mine but um let's uh go ahead and pull up one of these plugins to start with or we'll pull up both of them so you can see them juxtaposed and let's have a brief discussion about what i'm going to be comparing now, obviously, there is no comparison in terms of all of the features in Autotune Pro and Neptune. It's just not fair, especially if we start getting into the graph mode and the advanced mode of Autotune Pro, which the graph mode can be comparable to the pitch mode in Reason standalone, but obviously that's not an option in the Reason plugin, and Autotune Pro is not... Uh, compatible with Reason Standalone as Reason Standalone doesn't support VST3 as of the date is September 30th, 2020. So if you're watching this video at a later date and it VST3 is now compatible in Reason, then of course you can use this in Reason. As of now, you cannot use Autotune Pro in Reason 11 Suite. All right, so if we look at the face of these plugins, uh, you'll see they are very different. What I'm going to be talking about is these basic four knobs here in addition to the format. In essence, everything that is apparent on in Neptune is apparent in Autotune Pro. So let's go ahead and bypass one of these plugins. Let's start with Neptune Pro. And here you'll notice the main features. If I just reset this and we'll set it together, we'll go through the process that way. So I just reset it, and we're going to listen to it. And let me also bypass the effects that are on it. Um, I'm using micro shift. We'll leave the reverb for now. So the first thing I want to do, of course, is come in and set the key. So let's go ahead and put it on natural minor because the scale is in C minor. The next thing we'll want to do is change the correction speed. And we hear a lot of vibrato going on when I'm saying the eyes, so I'll hit this wide vibrato button here. And we'll probably turn down the correction speed a bit. Now, in addition to being able to set up auto-tune with this, you can also use it as a voice synth, and you can use it for MIDI input. So if you wanted to play chords and harmonize and use this as a synth, you could do that with Neptune. And if you wanted to play, uh, do like manual pitch correction and play one note at a time you could also do that with Neptune just as you could do that with Autotune Pro you also have some transposition options here which you can turn off but so if you were trying to make one of those cool uh, vocal beat tracks you could definitely use Neptune to produce those vocals yourself also have a form and shift here you can make it sound more masculine if you go to the left and more feminine or chipmunk like if you go to the right I'm going to turn both of those sections off. We also have a preserve expression uh, knob here, and if we turn it up, you'll notice that my expression sounds less auto tuny as I go to the right. So it makes it sound more natural. More natural. 
I want new way. I want blue chips. I want blue startup. Another thing you have access to is uh, the catch zone in which you can increase the range for how off the notes can be for it to tune it. So at the far left, it won't really catch anything. This is the range that I have to be off with my notes. And I don't have perfect pitch, as you heard, before I applied the auto-tune. So as we start raising this, will increase how off I can be or out of tune or out of key I can be for it to catch the notes and tune it to the pitch I was going for. And you see I'm I way chips. off. If you see the yellow line, that is where my pitch is in real time when we're playing it. I want new fit. I want new way. I want blue chips. I want blue startup. I want new fit. Now, if you wanted to create more vibrato, you could do that with this knob here. And you could also do some pitch bends and stuff if you were using this as a synth or whatever the case may be. Um, here's an example of using some vibrato. I want new fit. I want new way. I want blue chips. Now, it wouldn't necessarily be practical uh doing that depending on what you're doing it could be practical I want new fit I want new way I myself don't generally use that when I'm using auto tune I stick to setting the key the scale and the pitch adjust knobs here usually turn these off unless I'm creating a vocal sample as I said previously now live mode allows you to record into Neptune live so if I put this on my insert track while someone was recording like right here then they could record and you know have no latency and it'll catch everything in real time and everything like that I want new fit. I want new way. all right cool so this sounds about right to me let's go ahead and bypass this and let's look at autotune pro right up. I want new fit. I want new way. I want blue chips. Now, just with Neptune and Autotune Pro, we could set the scale. Uh, we do have more chord banks than we did in Neptune. As you can see, not chord banks, but scale banks. As you can see, there are five here. Chromatic, major, natural minor, harmonic minor, Dorian, mixolydian, six if you count chromatic as a scale, um, which it is. So back here, you see we have all of these. And with both of them, you can set your own scale so in neptune the ones that are highlighted will be the notes that it is going to pitch to and then here we see the notes that are listed are the notes that it's going to pitch to and if you wanted to make a custom one then you would just remove whatever notes you want you could start on chromatic and then you remove or bypass notes that you're not going to use. But we know the scale is minor. Now, as for the parameters in Autotune Pro that correspond with the parameters in Neptune, we could start from the top outside of the scale um, and graph mode, as I mentioned before, which we could start with the scale. Now, outside of the parameters that are now, as far as the parameters that correlate most with Neptune in comparing the sound justifiably, we have a format here, which you could change. We also have transpose here. I want blue startup. I want new fit. All right, and then we get down to these four knobs here. Now, retune speed is going to be the equivalent of the correction speed in Neptune. So, right up. I want new fit. I want new way. I want blue chips. For a 100% robotic sound, I want new fit. we go all the way down. I want new way. I want Zero retune speed. For a natural, more natural sound, you come up to about 20, which is the default. 
But I need a bit more than that for my vocals. I want blue chips. I want blue start up. I want new fit. I want new whip. I want blue chips. I want blue start up. Uh, next we have vibrato, which would be this knob here and the this button here for the input. Now we can accentuate or uh, turn down, minimize the vibrato present in the audio signal. I want new fit. I want new whip. I want blue chips. I want blue start up. I want new fit. I want new whip. I want blue chips. Now, I like the vibrato how it is without messing with it. I don't think we need to accentuate or minimize it, so I would leave it like that. Um, then the next thing we look at is flex tune. Now, flex tune is going to work with correcting short notes. And as we turn this up, as we turn it up, you'll notice it is a more natural sound. It sounds closer to what I was doing myself uh, without any auto tune. So it's gonna fix those initial notes. Now, the reason you would turn this up, you would turn this up for a more natural sound if you felt like it was correcting too much or it was deviating too much at the beginning of the notes. Now, it's perfect for me. If it was jumping around a lot, then I would definitely move it up. So maybe just a little bit. So it's not as shaky at those beginning notes. Then humanize is gonna work to smoothen out longer notes. Now, and just comparing those, they definitely have different sounds to them. So let's go ahead and go back and forth and we'll AB them. This is Auto Tune Pro. I want new fit. I want new whip. I want blue chips. I want blue start up. This is the reason rack plugin. I want new fit. I want new whip. I want blue chips. I want blue start up. Definitely more jumpy, so we might want to change the settings a bit. I want new fit. All right, so let's A B that again. This is Auto Tune Pro. The Reason Rack plugin. Alright, I'm going to loop this section here. And we will drag down the Reason Rack plugin. And we'll reset it. Alright, so this is the vocal we'll be working on now. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue strips. Now nah, I just left it at retune 20, but if we wanted to do something more to it, we definitely could. Let's go ahead and compare that to the Reason Rack plugin. And we'll change it as needed since it is a different vocal. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel. Now this one definitely sounds more robotic right off the bat. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel. Run me some blue chills, run me some blue strips. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel. Run me some blue chills, run me some blue strips. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue strips. Let's uh, turn up the catch zone a little bit, uh, and we'll try turning it down as well. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some Let's blue strips. Let's turn it down.
Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue strips. Run, run, run me a new feed, run me. Sorry. <laughs> run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue strips. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel. Run All right, so that's definitely uh, smoother than it was before. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue strips. That was auto tune. This is the reason rack plugin. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue strips. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue strips. All right, so let's compare these. Uh, this vocal is dry um, with no auto tune. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel. All right, now this is with auto tune pro. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills. Reason rack plugin. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue strips. All right, now hopefully you hear the differences in tone between the two based off of uh, my vocal, a female vocal, and Sway's vocal, Ralphie Sway's vocal, a male vocal. All right, now although uh, in this example he is using a higher pitched voice, we do have some lower tones down here that we can go over as well all right so this is a lower vocal here and this is without any auto tune run me a new feed run me a new wheel run me some blue chills run me some blue streel all right and this is with auto tune pro run me a new feed run me a new wheel run me some blue chills run me some blue streel so i'll turn it up Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue streel. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills. And then let's take a listen to the Reason Rack plugin. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue streel. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue streel. Versus Auto Tune Pro. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue streel. Reason Rack Plugin. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue streel. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue streel. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue streel. Run me a new feed, run me a new wheel, run me some blue chills, run me some blue streel. Now, as I stated in the beginning of this video, the main differences between these plugins are these knobs here. As I stated earlier in the video, the main difference between what we're actually comparing in these plugins are going to be these knobs here. So we have Flex Tune, Natural Vibrato, Humanize here, and then whereas in Neptune, we only have this Preserve Expression knob, and the correction speed correlates to the retune speed here, but they have different tones. So honestly, I use both in my tracks pretty regularly, depending on the sound I want to go for. I have a song called It's Time, and I love how robotic Neptune sounds in comparison to Antara is. And that's just the way it is. So definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kick back, cook up. Follow me on Instagram and, uh, Watch another video. I do have a video comparing Auto-Tune Access, the Reason Rack extension, to Neptune as well. So if you're interested in that, definitely check that one out.